Hello everyone, my name is Andy and you are very welcome to Chess Please. Today we're going to be covering off yet another offbeat chess opening for the white pieces, specifically to counteract the Karo Khan defence. It's called the Rasa Studier Gambit and it is feisty. It comes with a wide array of attacking options right out of the gate. Let's have a look. <laughs> So, for those of you who may not be so familiar with the Karo Khan defense itself, you might have faced it, but you might not know what it's called. It is defined with e4, so very common opening for white, followed by c6 by black, and pretty much once black plays c6, it almost can be taken as red that they're going to play d5 on their next move and kind of finish off their Karo Khan prep. So you play d4, you just take as much of the center as you can, very, very standard reaction to the Karo Khan defense. They'll follow it up with d5, as I mentioned. And normally in the Karo Khan, you have kind of two primary responses, one being the advanced Karo Khan, where you just push the pawn past it, leads to a very, very closed game, or the exchange variation, where you just swap pawns there, and you've again quite a loggerhead center. But... What I would advise you to do and how we reach the Rasa Studier Gambit is just leave that tension sit there, leave it simmer for just a moment longer and develop a piece, develop your knight out, specifically your knight to c3 and let them take that pawn. In the vast, vast majority of cases, they are going to take that pawn. Um, to looking at the numbers here, in the like, D takes E4 has been played 22,300 times at the top level and any other move, the closest move, is 10 times less than that. So you're very, very likely to face D takes E4, which is good. That's what we want. Now to reach the Rasa Studier Gambit, you play F3 in this position. And that's the Gambit part of it. That's you giving away a pawn. And again, they are very, very likely to take. If they don't take that pawn, my recommendation is just to take theirs. Just claim your center. We have a kind of a transposed into a Blackmar Deemer Gambit. If you're familiar with it, this Rasa Studio is very much a close cousin of the Blackmar Deemer Gambit, which Levi Rosman, Gotham Chess, does a really, really good video on this. I'll link in the description below. While you're down there, give us a cheeky like if you happen to pass by. Um, but in this position, they are very, very likely to take. If they don't, just take back, claim your center, develop your pieces. You still get quite a lot of the benefits, i.e. good squares for your pieces to develop to, knight coming out here, all sorts of good stuff where you can develop your pieces really quickly. One thing to note on this, and one thing about the Karol Khan defense, is once they played c6 and d5, one thing that we can almost unequivocally rule out is black castling long. For the king to be sitting here with this diagonal open and this diagonal open would be an absolute disaster. So the benefit of this opening comes from the fact that we're kind of assuming they're going to castle this side or at least stay in the center. Either way would be fine for us. But once they take here, we gotta just go what it is. Um, no, once they take here, we just take back with the knight and then again, they can start to develop as normal. They might take out their knight like this. Um, you want to move your bishop here. And a very, very common tactic straight away. This opening is laden with tactics. But if white comes through or black comes through like this and tries to pin your knight to your queen, unbelievably, that is already a mistake. So you can crash in straight away with your bishop. If king takes back, knight comes in with check. King has to move somewhere, probably back here, maybe back there. Doesn't really matter. Uh, we'll just do this. And then you take their bishop. And if they take back, you take with the queen. And you're completely away. You are, like, you are going to win this game. Um, pretty much, again, you still have to go and win it, of course. But if knight comes out here, castle short, you've got pretty much insurmountable pressure straight away. That's a very, very common tactic. And again, these moves are so, so natural for black to play that this can come about really, really frequently. So that's the theory. And sorry, just to put a, a pin in this as we're going through. So again, if they don't develop like this, if they do something else like 
maybe like that or something like that. What you want to do is you can castle short, move your knight in potentially in through here. What you're looking to do is basically just maneuver your pieces over to be pointing at basically this whole area here, the king side. So once they do castle, you can even start to push your H pawn. It's a really, really aggressive opening. Uh, develop your bishop, double up your rooks, normal attacking stuff, which I won't go into this video. But the idea being and the strategy you should employ with this opening is to just run hell for leather at the king side. Get every piece over there. You can start to just start sacrificing things because of how many pieces you have in so quickly. And even the position we have on the board now, now it is, uh, let's see, if they don't play this, like, other than developing this bishop here, let me develop it here, but there's very little else black can do. So they're going to have a tough time untangling their pieces, get everything developed to actually decent squares. So definitely a really, really useful one for just launching an attack straight away against the Karo Khan. I'll go through a quick game that I had with these, uh, with this opening. And just to show you that I'm not all bluster, um, but also that it can work in real life. Right, so to showcase the Rasa Studio Gambit in action, I've taken a game that I actually played today. It is a Blitz game, which isn't my strongest suit, but it is a lot of fun and it gives me an opportunity to practice openings like this. So, as expected, we are playing as the white pieces and we're playing against a Karo Khan. So it comes out pretty much exactly as we drew it up in the analysis board. Develop our knight out. They take that pawn. We offer it up. Now we're in the Rasa Studio Gambit. They accept the Gambit and we are off to the races. Take that knight there. They actually make the mistake that I pointed out earlier insofar as they develop their knight and they develop their bishop like this. I didn't know that at the time. Um, this is just one of the many traps in the Rasa Studio Gambit, which I am unfamiliar with. But I could have, at this point, taken in here, king taken, and moved in here with the knight with check. Let's see, we'll just get it up on the board. Bang, 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 bang. Wash. So just like we drew it up on the analysis board. I didn't spot that. I just decided, listen... Let's get our king into the old corner and let's start to get our pieces involved. Bishop comes out. Every move developing a piece. This was another mistake by me bringing my king, queen out to d3 here, uh, specifically because of this move. And employing one of Daniel Naroditsky's tactics of saying sorry, which is when you make a bad move, don't be afraid to just move that piece again. Don't get too fancy with it, trying to block things, everything like that. Just say you're sorry and move to a better square. So we do so. Now we move the knight into an absolutely perilous square. So moving that knight in there, complete bone in their throat. Definitely a, a one you want to try to kick out. And again, the computer likes if I take there, just get rid of kind of one of their primary defensive pieces. I don't do that. And again, I'm just planning on getting everything pointing um, at sort of this area here. We do so, we manage to get all of our pieces over here. And once we move the queen over here, my opponent makes a fatal mistake, which is that they take this knight, which was completely dominant in the middle of the board, but they've taken it a move too late because now that my queen is over here and my bishop is pointing over here at the king side, we actually have mate in one. So not the cleanest version of the Rasa Studio Gambit, but just an example of how quickly. So that was a, how long was that? That was a, 18 game move till mate and he was a much higher rated player than i am again my lowly enough blitz rating so there was mistakes on both sides absolutely but a really nice one to play against the Karo can that is the rasa studio gambit i would highly recommend this one unlike some of the other videos i've done like the irish gambit or the creepy crawly attack this one is actually good so feel free to fold it into your day-to-day -day repertoire if you had a good time watching feel free to drop us a like or a quick subscribe even just helps me keep up the motivation to make videos like this. Thanks for stopping by and happy chess. Ta-ra.